We're back, everybody. Uh, with more doom and gloom. With more bitch made. Say it like it is. We're bitch made right now. Okay. <laughs> we're we're built different. We're built stupid. <laughs> This elevator will take us to the most dangerous part of the fortress. Are we ready to go? I guess. Like, I could just fight a bunch of battles here. But I'd only be getting, like, maybe two upgrade materials per? And these battles aren't exactly quick. Oh. Oh. Love the music. Hate what I'm seeing. Guess there ain't a need for words at this point. Yes, we've almost made it to the end. It's been over two years since Class 7 was founded. How time flies. I consider myself lucky to be here with everyone today. I feel exactly the same. Two more adversaries remain here, though they'll be much more difficult than any others we've faced. We can handle them all together. The generic monsters on the way keep getting feisty here, too. They're almost a job for the soul bots. Don't skimp on top level arts and lost arts when you feel you need them. It's good practice, anyway. And don't forget to unleash all the crafts and orders you've got under your belt while you're at it. Well, then, let's go. Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Prepare to advance to the final sector of the Imperial Fortress. Right. right. This infernal darkness. There! Victory is clear! Ma ha! Can drop you. Yes! Alright, nice work. Alright, I have... I have thinks. Those are both really good. Item drop rate 50%. Did I have something that had item drop rate 100%? And I'm going to need emblem. Hey what a passionate foe! I got this. Yes. Yeah. There it is. Here's our chance. An opening. Arcus, act there! I'm going, Arcus! It's my turn! Yeah! <laughs> there it is! It's my turn! Bro just dropped a bunch of rocks on my squad. Yep! Nice. <laughs> it's my turn! Hey. I'm going! Hard. I'll treat you immediately! <laughs> yes! Arcus! There! It's my turn! It's my turn! Huh? <laughs> it's my turn! Ah, uh, he takes 20% less damage from that, okay. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'll treat you immediately! <laughs> Thanks for the yes. help! I'm going! Yep. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you! All right, nice work. Hmm. <laughs> that still doesn't give me too much to work with.
Come on, charge up. There! We got him now. Yeah! There it is! I'm going! Thanks. <laughs> yes! Thanks. <laughs> Thanks there, for there the help. it is! There it is now! An opening! Quick as a flash. That's <laughs> our instructor. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting some upgrade materials. I've got 9 out of 96. Well, technically 9 out of 192. That is if I don't want extra... <laughs> Ready! For buying a few more fucking hey fine items. <laughs> There's an opening! Huh. Yeah! I need big damage up. Damage was 30%. Clean! Yeah! Now! An opening! I'm going! Ha! Let's go! Attack! I won't let you! Yes! Huh? Yep. Yes. Yeah. I'm going. It's my turn. Yeah. <coughs> there it is. It's my turn. All right. Nice work. Like, yeah, not... I mean, freaking, this is good because I'm still getting a bunch of, um, decently strong character revival items. Tom, Tom. Ready. Oh, good lord, what the hell is that? I see a powerful enemy. Oh. A strong enemy. Be careful. Oh, this is another Uncerter. Yeah. Uncerter Maris. He is weak to the earth. There it is. Here's our chance. An opening. Yes. I don't have Urs. Huh? I'm going. Huh? <laughs> I was waiting for the you. catch there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, activate. the big catch is yeah. I've not brought a single fucking, like, throughout most of this entire game, I've not brought, like, a single earth spell, basically. Shimmer. It's always I been water and wind. Well, I guess I guess Sarah's coming with some earth. Let's go. There. But Sarah doesn't have, like, any I'm actual going. magic stat. To, uh, I'm going. Arc is oh, no. Me. I'll treat you <laughs> See how much damage Sarah's spell will do. Okay, so I'm going. it did. How's that stay it didn't do too bad, but again, he takes double damage from Earth. Mm. They were almost doing that much damage with the fucking spells. He takes twenty percent less damage from. Turn. There! Now! I've got you! I got you! Here's our chance! An opening! It's my turn! Ha! Let's go! Attack! You have such a charming allure. Almost like magic. Alright. What's in the box? Another Zerum powder. Not a bad item. Let me charge my things first, brother. There, now's our chance. It's my turn. There, now. An opening. Yes. There. I'll treat you immediately. <laughs> yes. Thanks for the help. Uh. There it is. Let's move on. <laughs> right, let's see what Reen can do with his other quartz. Oh. She's a bit, she's a bit. Regen, that could be nice. High HP increases physical damage by up to 45%. Sure, we just need to we need to have him just throw out as big attacks at the start as he can. Uh, 
actually, what I could do is, since I've proven I can easily, super easily freaking kill these guys on hard mode. I wonder if I can just one-shot them on easy mode to farm. Or very easy mode. See how that'll go. Yeah, it takes forever to charge okay. up. Okay. Hey yeah! We got him now. Alright. Nice work. I mean I can one-shot them all, but freaking <laughs> I didn't get shit for items out of it. I guess that's not entirely true. Now, let's go! Alright, nice work. Oh, I got 60 materials doing that. Alright. Can I actually go back up? I just farm the bats. Oh, I can. Actually, if I just teleport back here, it should still respawn them, right? <laughs> now they're. Alright. Nice work. Okay, I think this is how I'm gonna be farming you materials. This is this is very fast. Alright. So I'll see you guys back when I get all the shit that I need. Alright. Oh I gotta I actually gotta reset Reen's Kajiggers now. Bridget, and then he had. Uh, Minotauros is good. But is there something better I could give him? Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Domination will go into the. Back to the. Say Ryu gem. She will go back to having the Deva gem. The Deva quartz. Okay. So. Uh, I also have to put it back on the hard mode. All right. So I did a bunch of grinding on the bats and everything in the core. Now my ex orbs are looking like such. I bought a bunch of healing items. It's time to rumble bumble. Are you ready to bumble rumble? I am apparently ready to bumble rumble. Bumble rumble. Let's go. <laughs> Shit. Ready. Yeah, I got a friggin' in the midst of doing all that. I got I got maxed out celestial bomb ex rising items. And a bunch of Zerum Powder Resurrection items, so... I should be over-prepared for this fight. Yeah, yeah. Freaking, I should be over-tuned for this fight. Okay. Like I feel like I'm. I feel like I am even possibly over prepared for doing this on nightmare mode. A powerful foe, ready yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a tough one. Careful. Shit. Like most of these enemies aren't even gonna freaking walk towards oh, me now. Because I'm too high a level, so they get they run for me on the field now. Uh, what is that one course she has? Moon lens. I don't think I need moon lens anymore. So, uh, hundred strength could be interesting. 
Sacred Mirror. Nah, Tamamo. Uh, Seraph. Goldia, no. What else we got? Skanda. Uh, extra speed, don't need it. Can call speed down, I don't need it. Does she have the Epoch Bell? Does she have the Epoch Bell? No, she doesn't. Why doesn't she have the Epoch Bell? She needs that. Time art damage plus 30 and AT delay half. Yeah, she needs that. Okay. Genbu? Ah, petrification, no. Strength and defense plus break damage? Interesting. HP? Oh, okay, okay. That could be something. That could be something. Yosho gem. Suzaku? Yako? No. Aeolius? Oh. Luceus? You know what? We'll just put the Akula gem on. 200, 200 defense. 2000 HP. Ah, that seems good. Seems good because I don't I don't really need to see the map any I don't really need to see enemies and chests on the map anymore because I'm not gonna be fighting enemies they're just gonna run from me and this is a very straightforward area so I don't really need to worry about seeing the chests either whoa you sense that so much power in the air you'd think it was rippling off heat and heat waves I think even we're able to pick. I think even we're all picking up on that. It's like a raging wildfire. I'd say you're developing rather well if you can discern that much. We'd better be. We better be ready for anything. His power comes from beyond, governed not by the rules of this world, but by the divergent laws. It's impossible to even imagine what he could be capable of. If that's the case, you have some insight into that kind of stuff, though, don't you, Emma? If McBurn is just a warm up for the rivalry with the Ebon Knight, I don't even want to think about what's waiting for us. Sounds like overkill if you ask me. Knowing what McBurn's goal is, I doubt we'll find we'll have any choice but to fight him. But before that, I want to talk with him as much as possible so we can get some more intel. Not to steal Yuna's idea on that one. Oh. That's not plan. He may reveal more than the fool did, if he's so inclined. Let's see if we can get him in the mood to talk. And when it comes down to it, I owe it to my father to help you win this battle. Oh, perfect. As an exception, Panzer Soldats will be usable in battle against McBurn. You know what? I I am happy with all the brave orders that I'll have ready ready to go McBurning. All right, McBurn the Burniest. We we've we've messed around with him for many games now, but this is the first time we're ever gonna get to see what he's truly capable of doing to us. Man, took you guys long enough. And it sucks, because, like, I'm fighting the most powerful McBurn with the weakest voice. I was getting fed up waiting here. Thought you might have died on the way or something. Like, he doesn't have that, like, gruff sexiness. You just can't hold back anymore, can you? His overwhelming power is pouring out. The black flames that engulf all. McBurn. Do you remember what you said to me two years ago? Interesting. You mix by any chance? Something foreign, unnatural, mixed into their body itself. Different to the Church's stigmas. Looks like a pretty small part of it in your case, though. So how much of you is unnatural? All of me. Yeah, no. His all of me here was like not nearly as ten times the sexy as his original voice did. It's, it's ruined. He's he's like not mixed sexy. He's just yeah. yeah. I remember our nice little chat on the Pantagruel. The Pantagruel. That must have been during the Civil War. 
So that's what they talked about. Are you sad? I finally understand sad. what you meant back then. Like, I am just absolutely heartbroken. That part of me that was mixed in is Osborne's heart. It's not only the source of this power of mine, but also what connected me to the curse and made me a sacrifice. Yeah, so speaking of Osborne's heart, I would love to know how Osborne's still alive. Despite that. Like, that's a puzzle we haven't found out for, like, a bajillion games now. Maureen! <sighs> so maybe we'll get to figure it out at the end of this one? I was about to say, so, like, is Don't this the too much first credit. game where they actually say that all. that's what it is? Or does it is it actually mentioned in another game? It is mentioned in Cold Steel 2. At the end of the Infernal Castle, when Osborne shows up saying he's about to take the Phantasmal Blaze plan, he mentions that friggin' Osborne's... So, friggin', it's not mentioned that Reen has Osborne's heart until, I think, this game. But uh, okay. it is mentioned at the end of the second game when Osborne comes in the Infernal Castle and all that. And how we're trying to figure out why he's still alive. But it said even if he got, he doesn't have a heart to shoot through. And he's like, that's the same puzzle I've given to all of the Ironbloods to figure out. So in the end of the second game, Osborne says his heart is not in his body anymore. It wasn't until this game that we figured out it's in Reed's body. Ah, uh, okay. But looking at you now, it's much more than just a small part of you. Nothing compared to me, though. Well, of course not. How could I compare? When you're not even from this world to start with. Right, McBurn? <clears throat> he, he's not from this world? What does that even mean? None of this makes any sense. Is McBurn the literal devil? We were raised to believe that this was the one true world created by Adios. I heard, I heard you like infinite dimensions. In fact... We're incapable of even considering otherwise. And how are you considering it, Gaius? The existence of angels and devils on other planes was as much as we were allowed to understand. But we can't even contemplate the idea that anything might exist beyond the bounds of Zemuria. What do you... There's... something beyond Zemuria? This is an example of the divergent laws. Things we simply cannot understand or even begin to explain. For example, no matter how far you try to fly or sail away from the continent, you're unable to progress past a certain point. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up now. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Are they breaking the fourth wall? I don't know what they're doing. So let me let me think. Let me think. Let me think. So what it sounds like so Zemiria is the continent we're on. Okay? We're on the continent of Zemiria. Mm -hmm. That's where Erebonia, okay. Liberal, Calvert, Crossbell, Remiferia, Ordis, and all those places, that's the continent th uh, that they all are. All those city-states and those countries and those republics and all those people, everybody we've seen, every place we've been to is in the continent of Zemiria. All nine games so far up to this point have taken place on the continent of Zemiria. What they're saying is the continent of Zemiria is their world, but if it's just a continent, then what about the planet? Because Zemiria is just a continent on the whole of the planet. Hmm. So what they're trying to explain, I'm not entirely sure, but it sounds like the entire continent is in its own little pocket space. There's like the rest of the world. Yeah. So <laughs> this is kind of like Hunter x Hunter where the entire world that Gon and Jing are in the one that Jing's trying to escape. That's just that's just one small, basically, island of the entirety of the Dark Continent, which is the entire rest of the planet. Right. 
What? You're kidding me! It's not a well-known phenomenon, but it was recently verified through research. Despite a number of attempts to figure out why, science simply can't give us an answer. Yet, similarly to the artifacts, it's something that backs the existence of Adios. Ah, oh, so that's where she comes in. By attributing everything we don't understand to Adios, we stop thinking for ourselves. Given my position, this isn't something I'm especially proud of. But the Church's stance is that so long as order is maintained in the world, we shouldn't do anything to disrupt it. So, I feel like Ouroboros' grand, grand plan is to shatter that wall around Zemiria to open up the rest of the existence or some shit. The mages and witches of the Middle Ages weren't quite as commendable, however. As such, we theorize there must be something else behind all of the mysterious events we've noticed throughout the centuries. The Divergent Laws. In other words, the laws that govern what lies beyond the world Adios created. And at times, certain things from beyond make it into our world, causing inexplicable phenomena. <sighs> inexplicable phenomena? Now that you mention it... That does ring a bell, huh, Sarah? Oh. Yeah, it makes sense now. Inexplicable is the only word I can think of to describe the salt pail appearing in North Ambria 28 years ago. Oh, so apparently those salt pails come from outside Zemiria. Yeah, it was an anomaly on a massive scale, but there was no evidence of it being related to a septarian. After it appeared, Father Barkhorn went to conduct an investigation on it. But to be honest, the church wasn't able to reach any kind of conclusion on where it came from, so it was simply deemed a manifestation of the goddess's powers. No one can blame them for that. We're all human in the end, and some things we simply can't understand. Yet, in spite of that, there was one group who became obsessed with discovering the truth behind it all. They were ravenous in their pursuit, willing to go to any length, no matter how vile or demonic. Ouroboros. Wait! You don't mean... The DG Cult. Oh. Though they focused their efforts in Crossbell, they were operating all over the continent. In truth, though, they were being controlled by the Kreuz family the whole time. <laughs> Say what you want about those cultists, but they pulled off something amazing. They're the ones who created Gnosis. A drug that frees you from the shackles of this world. They made something like that? So, do you want me to explain what the Gnosis drug is? Because... Uh, sure. Because, I mean, that gets explained in the Crossbell games that I played that are on my channel. Ah, okay. But, I mean, I can watch that then. But basically, just, what it boils down to is it's a drug that gives humans the ability to turn into demons and wield that power. Oh. Yeah. It gives them, like, super demonic powers. But more importantly, assuming this is all true, then... McBurn, you really are someone from beyond this world, aren't you? Hell, are you even human? <laughs> You're half right. <sighs> what is that? As bad as what that is. The other half of me. The part of me from beyond. The half of me from here was human. That's why I look the way I do. Oh. And before you start asking, no. I don't remember a thing about what the other side is like. Oh. Only thing I remember is when my two halves fused together. We collided. Ourselves mixing together so completely, there was no way to split us apart. And in the end, we became me. So that's what you meant when you said all of you was mixed. It's like when the Holy Beast and the Hexen Clan's Elder merged into one. No, Emma. He's on a completely different level from Rose. But if that's true, then... His true essence is that of a calamity given form. Just like the Salt Pail. Now you're starting to catch on. It's been 50 years since I appeared in this world. 
I've been trying to figure out what I really am the whole time. Trying to dredge up any scrap of memories from where I came from. Trying to figure out what I'm even doing here. The one thing I knew for sure was that I'd need to return to my original form to get everything back. Thing is, if I did that, I'd absolutely annihilate everything around me. Just like how the Salt Pail did. Oh shit. That's why this Great Twilight business is the perfect chance. The reality of the world's already being twisted and warped by all this strife they're using to reforge the Great One. So I don't have to worry one bit if my true self completely tears it apart! Big Burn is a fucking animal! Huh. Is he... a devil? Fallen demon from the great beyond, Maraku Baldurang. Yes! Wow. This feels right! This is it! My memories are still missing, though. I figured as much. So basically, Mick Byrne is just a devil who came from the other world to possess this human body. I was hoping I'd be able to take on Osborne. But I guess you'll have to do. Now... Give me everything you got. Draw out my full power, so I can get back everything I lost. I guess we have no choice. Class 7, prepare for battle. On my pride as a witch, I'll hold back this Calamity's flames. I don't think you can, Emma. I'll back you up, but you guys better win, <laughs> no matter what it takes. Right. Now this is a stage. Give me everything you got! Uh, yeah, terrifying creature. Overlord McBurn. I feel like I'm playing fucking Disgaea again. Yeah, I can honestly say I was not expecting all this now. Eternally. Wham! <laughs> there it is now! An opening! I got this! It's my turn. I'll sh Wait. I'm going. Huh? I'm going. Arcus, activate. Let's go. Time. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't. I won't let you. I didn't put Reen's prop. I didn't put Reen's accessories back on. Oh no. Huh? There. Wait. There. Wait. It's my turn. Huh? It's my turn! Time! There! <sighs> I won't let you! <sighs> it's my turn! <sighs> I'm going! Let's just get that super burn off of Reen. Thanks! I got this! The super burn is bad. Time. It's my turn! Obviously, he takes no damage from fire. He's fucking big burn. Huh? I'll treat you immediately. <laughs> it's my turn. Arcus, act there. <clears throat> I'm going. Arcus, act. <clears throat> I'll treat you immediately. <laughs> Guess I'll use this. I would really wish you wouldn't. <laughs> turn to ashes. Burn. Oh, I hesitated. I messed up. I'm going. I really wish you wouldn't use that. <laughs> Thanks. I'm up. Thanks. Yeah. There it is. Here's our chance. An opening. How about there it is now? An opening. <laughs> Hotter. Turn up the heat. Yes. McBurn, there's not enough heat in this yeah. realm for <laughs> you. Right Thanks now. for the help. Let's go. <laughs> My blood, sorry. He's doing it again. Oh, sorry. It's a table messed up. Let's go. Ha! <laughs> sorry. 
everyone. Damn, Super oh, Burn just oh, murdered me. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. There it is. Here's our chance. An opening. I got this. Super Burn just absolutely just destroyed Reed. <laughs> I'm up. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. There it is now. An opening. I'll treat you immediately. <laughs> I'll care for you. Thank it's you. It's my turn. Overlord McBurn's a fucking unit. Ha! I can't lose. Yep. Let's go. Ha! It's down. This Mine. one's mine. I took. Mine. I got this. All right, what do we got? What can we do? McBurn is burning me, Mick. He's burning me, Mix. Well, actually, I know what I can do. Damn, here's our chance! An opening! Yes! We can use white decoration to reduce the damage Woo! we take by 90%. It's my turn! Thanks. <laughs> I'll treat you immediately. <laughs> Thanks for it's the my help. turn. Arcus activate. <laughs> yes. Arcus activate. Yes. Huh? <laughs> How about <laughs> there it is now? An opening. It's my turn. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Arcus, it's my turn. Devout. It's my turn. There! <laughs> I'll treat you immediately. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Thanks. I'm going. There! Wham. I'm going. There! Wham. Let's go! Wham. It's my turn. Heal. <laughs> it's my turn. Thanks. Uh. Eighth records. It's my turn. Huh? Yeah. There it is now. An opening. <laughs> I'll treat you immediately. Yes. Arcus. Yeah. <laughs> I'll treat you immediately. <laughs> Thanks for the help. This <laughs> 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 is a messed up. Well, music I'm was going. putting it work. <laughs> yep. Thanks. It's my turn. Thanks for the help. How about that? There it is now! An opening! Ooh. The hell is this? <laughs> there it is! Yeah. There it is! It's my turn! What am I supposed to do? Healing! Thanks. <laughs> yes! Thanks! He Thanks! <laughs> Thanks! So you just put up a nope shield, huh? It's some kind of divergent theory! Maybe I can handle it. Reed, now is the time. Summon me. Why do you... Oh, stupid question why Valimar sounds like Rufus. Same, voice, same fucking voice actor. They're both DC Douglas. It's my turn. Ha! Let's I go! I guess I'm summoning Valimar. Keep my call. Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Oh, shit! Hey -ya! This is the end! My you broke through! This is the blade of the eight leaves. That was cool. All right! <laughs> Woohoo! That still told us like very little about the out <gasps> the outer I outside guess world. That's updated. <laughs> <laughs> you know? We still don't know shit about what lies beyond Samaria now. Huh? Right. What's it doing? Ah, uh, so that's it. So we still have we still have so much more story to be told in other games. Like, I think, according to the developer of these games, he said at, at the. As of the release of the most recent one, Kuro no Kiseki 2, Crimson Sin, 
which is sometime this year in Japan, he said that as of that game, the full story of this series was about 80% done. Which means there's still four games we have to play. We have Trails to Reverie, um, Boundless Nayuta or something like that, and then Kuro no Kiseki 1 and 2. And then I think there's probably going to be at least one, there's going to be at least one or two more games after that. So, three slash four games, oh. and then I think one or two more. So I think to get the entirety, the entire story of all of this that he's trying to portray, there's like six more games to play. So to get the entirety of all of this world's story, it will be a total of like 15 games. That's a lot of game. <laughs> I spent all that time looking for answers. And it turns out... Hmm? You remember now? <laughs> that little rat Campanella sure got me good. Wait, what's Campanella got to do with Demon McBurn? And Ouroboros, huh? We couldn't have picked a better name than that. Um... We don't know sh I mean, that's true, we don't know shit about Campanella. He's back to normal. So, we know just about everything about McBurn, but we still don't know dick about Campanella. Ah, how do I put this? Sorry for the trouble, guys. <laughs> like, McBurn's great. He literally, I think Campanella dragged him from the beyond and put him into human McBurn's body. And all Demon McBurn wanted was to figure out why the fuck he's here, who the fuck he was, and yeah. <laughs> the hell's that coming from? McBurn's a bro. Oh, hold on just a second. <laughs> <sighs> well, that was certainly unexpected. So <clears throat> you want so you wanna know McBurn's whole MO? Okay. So, McBurn's whole MO was the demon, demon McBurn was somehow ripped from beyond the veil, outside of Zemiria, a different world, and put into this human body. No memories, no thoughts of any, of why he's here, how he got here, and how to get back or anything like that. No memories. So all he wanted to do was figure out who he was where he came from and why he's here but he was scared like he he had to go to his full demon form in order to try and get all those memories back but he didn't want to because he didn't want to annihilate literally everything around him so I feel like the reason he was constantly looking for the next most powerful warrior the next most powerful being for him to fight was so he could release his full demon form without risk of annihilating everything around him so that's why he was always seeking out the most powerful fighters. Is it safe to say you've accomplished that little goal of yours? Yeah. Half of it, at least. Got to admit, you guys weren't too bad. I wasn't sure you'd pull it off. Guess I should have given you more credit. Since you took down the Steel Maiden and all. <sighs> I take it you're not going to answer our questions, then? Look, I get that this is just the way you are. We're not messing around here. A simple sorry's not gonna cut it. If you really want to make it up to us, help us out. That's right. You'd make for quite the asset in our battle against the Ebon Knight. Nah, I already got what I'm looking for. I'm out. Peace. Nah. I just get in the way. Same fucking thing. Fuck you, McBird. <laughs> she just pulls out the glasses and just beef and then throws it away. <laughs> A teleportation circle. I've got a new objective now. Think I'll pay Campanella and the Grandmaster a little visit. The third Anguist, too. Got a few choice questions for them. Like, why am I here? Hmm. Should probably add the Abyss to that list. Please don't kill Vita. We need her. Not sure if this makes up for all the crap I put you guys through. But here, Schwarzer, Ashen Knight. Take this. So yeah, McBurn wasn't McBurn wasn't a bad guy. He literally just was trying to figure out who the fuck he was. 
And now he knows where to get those answers. What is that? Wow! It's so pretty! The primordial flame. The purest essence of fire. Hmm. Oh, we, I mean, we can't. We don't got McBurn as an ally, but we got McBurn's flame in our Valimar and us. Sweet. We are so powerful now. Hey! What's happening? It's okay. I'm fine. I feel the warmth of deep. What the fuck kind of demon gives power to a fucking basically child? <laughs> Thank you, McBurn. Like, what a what a what a gentlemanly demon. Sorry, bros. Salute. <laughs> I'm off to go question some people. See ya. I can feel just how powerful this gift is. Like, what a weird, de what a weird demon. Allow me to extend my thanks as well, Overlord of the Beyond. I have no doubt this will prove invaluable for the final rivalry. Like, I don't care what else happens in the game. This, this whole scene, all the all the lore we just got here, it it trumps whatever the ending's gonna be. Because this right here, all this lore is setting up for more game. Glad to hear it. Just a heads up, you can probably only use it once. So make it count. Understood. I appreciate it. I don't plan on making friends with you or anyone else in Ouroboros, but... Uh... Excuse you, Reen? Did you hear what this idiot just said? Uh, yeah. Do you see? Do you see those lines? Do you see those words that came out of his face? Yeah, I think it's a lie. Vita, Duvali, Joshua, Ren, Blue Block. That's five right there. That he is basically befriended. Like, what? Like, granted, Joshua and Ren aren't in Uroboros anymore, but they were. Oh, Sharon. Sharon technically was oh, still in. Sharon. Sharon technically was still in Uroboros, even though she was working in the Reinford family in the first three games. She was still part of Uroboros. She didn't leave until midway through this game. Reen, you're an idiot. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck, McBurn. I hope you find what you're looking for. Without causing any more trouble. We'll see. <laughs> I'll do what I can. No promises, though. Well, Schwarzer, Class 7, try not to die, yeah? McBurn's great. And Crow. Later. Later, Crow. <laughs> So long, McBurn. That was a lot of lore dump there. We learned so much, but at the same time, we learned nothing. The hell's his deal? Trying to kick our ass one second, then getting all chummy the next? Drives me nuts. Honestly, same. If only he'd had that change of heart before the fight, it would have saved us some time. My head hurts from all the unbelievable things he told us. I take you referring to the divergent laws and the mysteries of our world that were brought to light. My whole understanding of the world has been just shattered. I know it's overwhelming, but it may be best to set aside processing all of this for later. Yeah, we have way more pressing issue to deal with right now. Right, the Great Twilight. At least that's something I more or less understand. Let's go all... Let's come back to all the revelations from Ouroboros after we've wrapped up everything else. This next battle should mark the grand finale to this story. Yeah, we've reached the final destination of this long journey after all. Of course, even if we manage to avert this impending disaster, there will still be the aftermath of the war to deal with. The end's not in sight just yet. We're coming right up to the climax of this long series of events. Shall we head out? I don't see why not. We've got McBurn's gift to try out, don't we? For now, how about you go back to the Garden, Valimar? And you should come with us, Milliam. Sure, sure. We don't have far to go, but we must not let down our guard until the end. Oh, that was... 
So you know how people say this game's got the story? Yeah. That that was some the story, yeah? Mm -hmm. that, that was a lot of the story. All right, next time, everybody. Osborne's going Downsborn. Or demons and stuff. Yeah.